Anin Buju Band members, today is May 6th. And I would like to start out today by saying um, Happy Mother's Day to all of the mothers. And uh, thank you for all the work that you do on behalf of your families and have a great Mother's Day. COVID updates for the counties. Aiken County yesterday, 1,331. Today, 1,332. Crow Wing yesterday 6,518 and today 6,541. Mille Lacs County 2,971 and today 2,982. Pine County yesterday 3,235 and today 3,241. On the reservation District 1 and District 2A, 119, no change. District 2, 11, no change. And District 3, 35, no change. A reminder of the COVID Emergency Rental Assistance Program. If you need help with rental payments, and you can apply at 320-292-1942. And of course, um, you can also receive the information on the band's website. And if you need help paying your rent, and you can go back as far as March 13th, 2020. And that's also for utilities and uh, any of those other kind of costs associated with the rental property. The news that many of us have been waiting for, the District 1 Fitness and Aquatic Center is going to open May 17th. And as we're starting out, it will be for elders first. All elders from the Mille Lacs Band, 55 plus. And the hours will be Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. Upon entry, your temperature will be checked and all the rules and regulations under the COVID operating procedures will be in place. They're asking that you wear tennis shoes and that's required in the gym, the fitness center and the walking track. If you have any questions, please call 320-532-7732. And uh, the executive branch and legislative branch uh, with uh, Representative Virgil Wynn looking to do a grand opening in June. So please watch for the information. Next week on May 12th, Districts 1, 2, 2A, and 3 is the food distribution. And that will be May 13th for the urban area. And what they're saying is distribution is from 1 to 3 p.m. or while the supplies last. On Friday, May 14th, there is Adopt the Shoreline and Res Roads Cleanup. All the employees or others, community members, please sign up with the commissioner by Tuesday, May 11th. And that's for the employees. The community doesn't have to sign up for that. And please report to the uh, District 1 Community Center, 8.45 to 9 a.m and you will be given a assigned cleanup area. From noon to one, lunch will be available and a prize drawing for the participants. We can all do our parts as stewards of the land and help clean up our Mille Lacs Lake shoreline and our reservation roads. Miigwech. The band newsletter, Miigwech to the Inajimowin for publishing a weekly news update on the website and the Facebook each week. There's a lot going on in their communities and it can be difficult to keep track of all the Facebook posts, flyers, news stories, new job postings, videos, and upcoming events. The weekly update is published at Millaxban dot com slash news on Fridays and shared to Facebook on Sundays. If you are on the email list, you may also receive the news summary in your email inbox. If you want to sign up for the email newsletter, the link is on the Facebook and the website. 
If you have any submissions for news summary, email news at malaxband.com or call Brett Larson at 320-237-6851. I received communication from the Commissioner of Finance, and there are many band members who has not filled out that attestation form. And um, your name will be listed on um, the website. So if you're one of the individuals that did not fill out the form, please take the time to do so. If you do not fill out the form and it's not on file for audit purposes, you will not receive a stimulus. And I know you all need that. And so please take a few minutes to fill out the form. And that is on the website. With that, I'd like to say good day and I will talk to you soon. Miigwech.